Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Right away. So you see like uh, that, that, that these are the little strateg strategic moves. And sometimes you don't have a lot of time to think about it, do you? Not at all. Not at all. You really got to be quick on your feet because uh, you, you only got three minutes and it's, it's really. Sometimes you have three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah. That's okay. split. Yeah. What's yeah. a, what's a, cla what's a traditional objection you might get from somebody? I don't know. Um, well, if you don't know, I, I, then I'll, I'll think about it. No, you, no, I don't want you to think about it because that, that means you're uncomfortable. Don't ever invest in, can I give you some free advice, sir, before I go? Oh, before I go, don't yes. Ever, I don't want, I would never take you as a client if you were uncomfortable. I don't want you to do that. Mm. Okay, so mm. let's say it's over. Don't worry, I'm take off my salesman hat. Don't worry about this. I only work with clients who want to make money on a secure investment and feel good about this. If you're not there, I respect that. Before I go, is there anything else I should do? Anything else I can do for you before I leave? Because I've got to call somebody else. Somebody else is going to make a lot of money today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Fortunately, it's not you. No. Anything else I can do for you? <laughs> I didn't know I was in the role play. I didn't even know I was in a role You're play. You're always yeah. in a role no, play. No, it's always in a role You're play. You're always in a role play. <laughs> Why are we always in a role play? Why do I, te why do I teach this way and instead of just lecturing all day long? Because or getting you to read a lot of bullshit that, books. And this stuff. is that real experience because it's really coming off top. It's being like being able to freestyle. You yeah. know, it's a freestyle battle. It's freestyle, man. It's, it's rapping. Freestyle for, battle. This is rapping for money, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't do that with a script either. Yeah. Can't do it with a script. No. Nope. You can't rap with a script. No. God, what if they, what if the individual says something like, "Well, yeah, I got some money out right now, and then I saw I'm I'm a little tied up." Or, uh, Don't know. worry, I've been there too. I've been tied up too, and everything like that. You know, this particular investment though um, is going to pay eighteen. It's going to it's a fifty thousand investment. It's going to probably pay you close to eight thousand dollars over the next, uh, I'd say, ninety to a hundred and eighty days minimum. And we'll we put this on the right. But if that's not if you're tied up and your money's tied up right now, maybe another time. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, eight thousand bucks for sixty to sixty to ninety days. Can you imagine that? Yeah, no, that's a great deal. I, uh, yeah, I, I just and, and it's all secured by the property. We have a lawyer draft up the contract. Uh, everything everything is done kosher here. How, how often do you come across deals like that? You know, I wish, great question, Stroke. Mm -hmm. I wish I got, I wish I had, you know, I wish I could get the 10 of these deals a day. That's how many people want them. Mm -hmm. um, but right now they cut, you know, it, I'll get one one week, two another week. It, they just come and go and they, and they go so quickly. Um, and, and I have plenty of other investors to call. So maybe some other time we'll do this, uh, uh, Mr. Chris. Yeah, I, I think I, I'm really tight right now. But uh, don't worry about it. Like, listen, we'll do it another time. But someone's going to make eight thousand dollars today for a lousy fifty thousand investment over less than hundred and twenty days. What a shame it's not you. Yeah, man. You know, I may I may be able to move some things around and and, uh, and give me give me some give, give me to the end of the day. Let me see if I can. I may be able to put something together. Man. Oh wow, you're really putting me on the spot here. Oh, okay. Off the role play. Why am I struggling? That's, that's, that comes right before you're able to, you know, say, well, what would the here's what I'll do. do. The amateur will jump right in. I'll give him, oh, sure. Wait, give me a call later today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, whatever you want, man. And that's the amateur guy because he got emotional. He stopped thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He stopped mm. thinking, got a moment. Oh shit, I got the money. And the minute you act like you need the money or you want the money or you're, you know, you're, oh yeah, we can do whatever you want. What's going on? in his head right away? He's thinking, uh oh, uh -oh. maybe I better not. This guy, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. you've, you've got to create that with a specific time. Yeah. You got to take it away. Um, you got to act like you're making an exception for him. This is where the reciprocity and social proof come together. Come, come together, right? And maybe some scarcity. See how they all blend together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And I say, you know what? I, I never, let me think about this. Uh, struggle, struggle. Oh, I'm, you know, I could call up three, four people. I pro This is our first investment, isn't it, Chris? This is, we've never done business before, right? 
No, we've been trying to connect, but we haven't. Yeah, and you're, I, I like getting fresh blood into my investment crew here. And there. you just had a new baby, right? And wait, would you use this money for the baby's college fund or something like that? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know what? You sold me. You're a great salesman, man. I, I'm telling you what, if you use part of this money for the baby's college fund, because she's going to be a doctor someday, or God forbid, a lawyer like me. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you can get the money together and get back to me before 4.30, you got a deal. I'm gonna break the rules here. Okay, okay. All right, well, we, we, you got a deal. Let me, let me- What? Uh, make some calls. I'm sorry? All right, you, we, we got a deal. Let me okay. make some calls. I'm gonna move some things around and I'll get back to you the day before four. Okay, or earlier if you want, and I'll get the paperwork ready and uh, good to do business with you, sir. Welcome to the, uh, the CCNR Property Investments Incorporated. You're gonna make a lot of money with me. Absolutely, I appreciate that. I appreciate, I appreciate you, sir. I'll talk to you later. Boom. Boom. What's going through his head now, going off the phone? Um, <laughs> he respects you, he likes you. Um, now I'm going to get the $50,000 now. Let, let's walk on that. He's gonna find it. He's gonna get it. It's, he's gonna make it happen. Yes. Money, my mentor used to always say, "Money is never money is never an objection to doing business if the need, if the desire, if the emotion is great enough." Right. Money I, is never an obstacle. They'll find the money. They'll beg, borrow. I hope they don't steal it. Um, but it, they will find a way to get the money. But it's your yeah. part of your job is to qualify them also. Right, right. For, for that. Yeah. Okay, wow. we got, a, we got two, three that minutes. Great, that was some great role playing right there. Yeah, very great. Yeah. Using these different psychological triggers, using Guts 2.0, bringing the emotion into it, using the word imagine, storytelling, not acting like a beggar, not acting desperate. See, to me, salespeople always act desperate. Like they got a mortgage payment coming up and oh my God, you know, they really, you, could you ever get a salesman who needs it a little bit too bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. What, what, what do you guys do when you get that salesman who's a little bit too pushy, a little too hungry? What, mm -hmm. what, what, what do we all do? To, what's our safety? What's safety. Our, <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested or something like that. Don't we say, you know, this sounds really good and you spent a lot of time with me and thank you for the test drive and the new Cadillac and I can't wait to get home, tell my wife about it. Um, I'll give you a call in a day or two, okay? I really like this car, I like you and everything. I'm gonna check my, I'm gonna check my finances and everything, but I'll get back to you. Yeah. Can I have yeah. your card? Can I have your card, please? Can I have your card, please? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, is, what does he do with, what does he do with that card, you know? Just get rid of it, yeah. You know, what, you know what I, you know, you know what I say to people, give me your card. I said, no, I don't have one on me, but when I get home, I'll throw one out for you. <laughs> throw one out for you. Cause nobody <laughs> really uses these cars anyway. Right. We're I'm all about getting people so emotional that they want to say yes and make a commitment. Now. That's the key. That is That's the key at the worst. I get another appointment with him a follow-up yeah. appointment later that day or the next day. Sometimes right. it takes two appointments to close people. That's just right. it. Yeah. Okay. But Never three. And sometimes I just fire them. Hey, we're not going to do business today. Money's not right. Timing's not right. I respect that. Maybe we'll do something in the future. Someone's going to make money today, but I got your name and email and everything. I'll send you a follow-up on this and uh, maybe sometime, uh, maybe sometime, maybe next year we'll do something. Okay. Have a great day. Mm. You fight, you always fire the prospect politely. Oh, politely. You never yeah. let him dismiss you. Big, right. big, big, significant difference in my system uh, as opposed to traditional sales. Yeah. The yeah. traditional uh, uh, Jeffrey Gittimer, Red Book of Selling, uh, Grant Cardone, all these, uh, Sandler, all of, they're all about, you know, doing this to the prospect and, uh, and, oh, we'll do business later and everything like, no, you've got to fire him. You've got to make like you don't need him. Hey, look, it's okay. I've got all these other people I'm going to call. We'll follow up. Uh, it'll work. It'll, it'll be fine. And listen, you take care. Thanks for being up front with me. Uh, we're not, it sounds like we're not going to do business. Why aren't we doing business, by the way? It's not the money, is it? The money. No. Oh, okay. Nah.
If, it, if money wasn't an issue, you wouldn't want to move forward on this though. Right? Same thing, right? Same thing. Oh, really? Okay. So you're not comfortable with the investment or, or is it a trust or credibility issue? Well, it's really, it's just the timing. That's the timing. That's all. Okay. So if money wasn't an issue, you had the money, timing yeah. was good. It, it, it'd be a go. What? We, we, it, it'd be a go. We, okay, we so have I'll, a deal. I'll, t I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I got a lot of people want to double their money. I'll give you a call and I'll give you a call in, in 60 days, see if the situation changed. I'll send you a follow-up email and video um, on this. And um, listen, I hope we can do business in the future. But right now, I've got to go. I'm so sorry. Bye-bye. Bam. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. You're the busy doctor or lawyer. You've got a waiting room full of patients and clients. Yeah. What are you right. out of control? What's going to happen when this guy put, gets off the phone? When he, he's going to be thinking about you. <laughs> you're, in his, you're, you're in his head now subconscious yeah. you ever have a bad song or something you can't you keep you keep thinking of the song you keep humming it and whistling it you can't get it out of your head yeah i'm right. like that i, I want to be like that song yeah, I want because sometimes, like sometimes they call you back mm. yeah hey chris you know i've been thinking about what we talked about on monday and man it's just going over i just can't get you out of my head man about that deal and everything. You probably sold it already, didn't you? Um, you know, I got a lot of people that <clears throat> I'm getting really close to uh, locking it up. I don't know. Take it. Just, you know why we use the word? This is exactly when you use the word, I don't know. Why? Oh, uh, yeah, no, nah, that, that is great, Clyde. Uh, because um, we put the pressure back on them. Yeah, and I'm I'm so busy that you know I got so many deals. Yeah, we put the pressure right back on the prospects. So. Then turn it into a question. Say, uh, gee, I don't know. We do so many deals, and which deal were we talking about yesterday? Um, yeah, that I, hasn't I changed. Your situation hasn't changed, wasn't it? About a, the money or something like that. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Boom. Let them beg you for it. Let them. Let them give you. Let them tell you. Listen, I been on my head it, people this is called conversational hypnosis you're in his head right now mm -hmm. he can't get you out of his head mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he calls you back and the first thing you say is i don't know i don't know buys you time yes. to figure out what to do with this guy Definitely. Definitely. i gotta go to my next call guys thank you all thank you all good session huh great session i'm very present good. Pause, good. Right Have now. a good day. Amir, I'll, um, I'll send you the, um, the recording. Thank you. Drive careful. Take care, guys. Make some money. Bye, bye. Chris, hit me up, man. Okay. You guys know how to connect? Yeah. Okay.